there was there's the last time I went to physical therapy for my back, they had a new reception. And it was like the epitome of hot big titty goth chick. Okay, wait a minute. Let, let's do this on episode. All right. Because I have my own thing. And it's so funny <laughs> that you said hot big titty goth chick because I have my own. There. Welcome back to a bit of. We're playing Amnesia with Jeff and Rob on the couch. Big and, titty goth girls. Yeah. Yes. We were just discussing a topic that's very near and dear to everyone's heart here. Oh, I just have a similar big titty goth <laughs> story. Uh, the last time Viv went to the, the physical therapist for, I think, her, her leg, her knee or whatever. Or maybe her shoulder. Like, we're old, so we all have problems with our bodies. Um, she came home and she was like, Did you know that they had a big titty goth girl as a receptionist at the, re at the physical therapy? And, I, and like, I had no idea. But I'm like, a month up. later, I had to go for my back to the same office. And I was like, oh, yeah. I walk in, I was like, Hi! <laughs> I'm here to check in. Big titty goth girl. <laughs> <laughs> you must be the girl my wife was <laughs> yeah. talking about. No, but the, she was absolutely right. Um... But she had, she like had, she filled out like all the character stereotype things on that big titty goth girl checklist. She, you know, black hair, like, um, all like really big cat eye kind of makeup and stuff. And, and this is a new age goth girl. Well, you know what I'm talking about. I get you. I get you. Yeah. yeah. Um, I get you, fam. And, and I don't know what brought it up when we were, Jeff, you were talking about the chiropractor, I think. Oh yeah. And then bones popping it. How it feels good. <clears throat> so there's like no payoff. There's just that big titty goth girl working. Well, you brought it up. Well, I'm just saying. Well, she, she <laughs> brought it up. <laughs> uh, no, it was just funny. You said that. I went to um, I went to like a walk-in. Uh, what do they call them? Um, uh, urgent cares now. I guess it was called. Oh yeah. Um, like it was about a decade, at least to go. Right. Were and, you on death's door? Well, that's how I go to the doctor. I have to be near dying or if they figure I need antibiotics or something in right. order to proceed. I'm saying. But, um, I walk in and there's this, like, you know, hot goth fucking girl with huge fucking cans. And she's like, okay, like, right this way to a, a, a room. And I'm like, oh, why do I feel like shit? And like this girl, like, nothing's going to happen, but like, yeah, it still sucks. <clears throat> so she's taking like my vitals and stuff. And it's, I'm just like looking at Whoa. her. And not only am I like, you know, just like, wow, like, she's got such big cans. She's young. Mm -hmm. That's always I at the time. But, um, she was so goddamn green. Like, you could tell, like, she had no idea what she was doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, God, okay. So she, whatever. How can you fuck up vitals? So she puts the, um, the blood pressure cuff on my arm. Right. And she starts doing the blood pressure thing. And, <laughs> you know. Your arm falls and, off. And I, I hate that. Like, I just hate it. I don't, I don't say anybody likes it, but I fucking hate oh, cool. it's like, icky. feeling your arm just like fucking get slowly throbbing. And, and then she's like, you know, doing the stethoscope thing. Okay, okay, great. It is what it is. And she's trying to undo the pressure valve to like let the pressure out of the cuff go, and she can't fucking get it. <laughs> and I remember sitting there, I'm like, all right, like just stay calm. And eventually I just grab the fucking thing. I'm like, give me that thing. And I'm like, <laughs> and my arm's gonna fucking fall off. <laughs> and, uh,. <laughs> And so, like, I'm here for, like, what I think is, like, a respiratory infection or whatever. So, like, at this fucking place, I'll there never go. go back there. My favorite but, um, toy. That's a good Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm I, the doctor comes in. And the doctor, I don't remember anything except the doctor just, like, seeming like, like she just hated every man who ever existed. Like, I don't know, like, the night before, like, her, like, husband asked for a divorce or something. And she's just taking it out on the rest of the plant. That she's sucks. Like, She's like, yeah, you probably got, like, uh, some sort of infection because, like, you fuck things that, that aren't good. Like, I was like, what? I'm here for a respiratory infection. Wow. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Captain I, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, she's like, oh, I want to do a blood test, make sure you don't have anything. And I'm like, once again, this is an <laughs> upper rep respiratory infection. Like, I don't need blood work. Like, give me, give me a fucking Z-pack and let's call it a fucking day. Like, <laughs> like I only come here if I'm dying. Like, I don't want to be here. You don't, don't want to be here. You don't like men. But, like... <laughs> I remember saying, like, she was like, okay, we're going to have someone come draw your blood. And I remember saying, just, I was like, I have to say this, otherwise it's, it, it's going to be bad. Because I usually don't, like, put up much of a fight anywhere. But, like, I guess in this case, I really felt I had to advocate for myself. Right. I was like, please don't have Big Titty Goth Girl come in and take my fucking blood. Because not, not just because she's Big Titty Goth Girl, but because the experience you just had with her. Uh, yeah, I was like, she <laughs> has no idea what she's doing. And, like blood work is not like I, I get squeamish with the blood like I, it always is yeah. worse than I think it, it ever is gonna be but I don't I don't want someone who's not done it before to fucking do it I don't need like a learner person 
Yeah. That ain't me. And she's like, oh, God, no. She doesn't know her ass from her. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, thank you, man-hating woman, for giving me the, for not giving me that person for this blood test I don't need. I think she was like, oh, you might have meningitis or something. I'm like, I don't want to It's an upper respiratory thing. So I had an ep- upper respiratory. respiratory. <laughs> Big titty goth girl, though. She was so hot. <laughs> but she was very bad at her job. <laughs> I hope she's doing well. I hope she's still got them big goth titties. A while ago, when I uh, I thought I might have been exposed to COVID, I had to get like a rabbit test done. A rabbit test? Yeah. yeah. They just, just check for ears. So I wanted well, to... Have to catch, if you can catch the rabbit, <laughs> rabbit. you don't have COVID. Rabbit test. <laughs> so I went, I went to this clinic nearby, and, and I got it, and it was like you know room. a young girl administering the test. We went to one of those like private side rooms. She's took my vitals and everything, and uh, while she was doing the blood pressure test. Um, I just thought I'd make, like make a joke to like because she clearly seemed like a little little bit nervous about doing what she was about to do. <laughs> so she had to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, you know, when she was writing down my vital sign, I was like, so what's the verdict? Am I still alive? And she kind of giggled and stuff. That's a terrible line. That's yeah. really bad. That's, that's, that's really bad. I know. But wow, that's old man Jeff joke right there. <laughs> that's. I would make it more inappropriate. I mean, uh, what's there's wrong old man with Jeff your face? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Ted, Ted Lobsterman, founder of Red Lobster. <laughs> how many how many Red Lobster references can we make? Sponsored by Ego. Ah, uh, but a, uh, like a friend of mine asked afterwards, like, oh, well, was she cute at least? And I was like, I couldn't tell because she was covered head to toe in like pr- protective PPE. equipment. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me ask you, in Mass Effect, did you romance Tally? Yeah, of course. Yeah, everyone's oh, there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the last time I went to the doctor, I had to get um, these three. I, I wanted to pieces. get a COVID test. To I had to I had to get one to enable to be able to go back to work. Mm-hmm. Um, and then even then, I still had to quarantine. But like, I walk in like, why on earth would you come here? Because this was this was over a year ago. Like in February when when everything was still uh, kicking off with COVID, mm-hmm. they're like, "You should just quarantine and like not come here because coming here makes you way more like likely to get it." Yeah. Because everyone's coming here now. I was like, "Yeah, I know," but I was kind of like forced to come here. All right, I think that's everything in this room that I need to collect. Well, that's why like the numbers are probably so fucking off. It's just like yeah. People who didn't need to be like hospitalized for it, like it's just like, well, going to the doctor is pretty dumb. Like, yeah, exactly. Do exactly what you're not supposed to do, but you think you're supposed like, to. Like, I think I have COVID. Okay, assume that you do. Stay home. Like, yeah, that's pretty much it. You didn't check all the doors, you big dummy. I did. No, you didn't. You didn't. Yeah, there was the impaler. The, oh, the you got the ore piece there. And then there was the hot poker room. Hot poker. I didn't see the bronze bowl. I saw it. I think that's in a different area. I think you and I are thinking oh, about yeah, later on. The, the pyramid. Pyramid? The butt spike? It's not a pyramid scheme, all right? <laughs> you get one person to sit on it, and then they get two other people to sit on it. Wait a minute. It's a pyramid chair scheme. <laughs> Shit. This place is way too big. Yeah. No, that's, that's, why, the, that's why the guy moved out to a condo Yeah. for seniors. It's way more easy to manage a condo. I mean, the HOA fees are pretty high, but... It's not like you're going outside. Well, never go outside. Agrippa! <clears throat> City of Mystery. It even I keep it. reading the W upside down as, as an M and thinking it's Meyer instead of Wire. The W upside down? You mean the W? Yeah. It's an upside down M! No, I mean, I'm <laughs> inverting it in my brain and thinking it's an M. Maybe you're listactic. Okay... Pills. Tinder box. I mean, Tinder box. <laughs> Pills that burn my throat. Like, the, I think the real MVP of this game is, like, the candles that you haven't lit. <laughs> yeah. the, the ones that are lit. <laughs> that, like, just have never, like, gone out. Or... Yeah. All the candles in this place are scented like bacon. This is actually the, um, oh, what is it? Yankee Candle Factory <laughs> Castle. <laughs> this is where we make all the scents. Welcome to the enchanted land of can- candle making. We had to kill 18 men and torture another 40 to get the scent of 
beach. <laughs> <laughs> Does it smell like a beach? Oh, I finally found the choir entrance, Jeff. Choir? Choir? The choir. Were you in the choir, Jeff? No. Were you? Were you? No. Didn't you go to, a, like, one of them Catholic Yeah, schools? I went to Catholic school until sixth grade. You went to that one in the village, right? Yep. It was not a good time. I remember getting into a car accident in front of that place, and the kids in the yard were a dick. <laughs> yeah. They what weren't. Did they do point laugh. Uh, Sounds yeah, right. pretty much. <laughs> yeah, we hit with like the. Oh, you're bleeding profusely. <laughs> it wasn't a bad accident, but like, I was like, I don't know. I've been driving for like three months at that point. Yeah. And I'm like, your dad's gonna kill you. I'm like, you little shit. They right. Would've, they would have said that if you had just been like walking by. You know what's so weird about like that era? I remember I got into that accident. I was with my girlfriend at the time. And I remember being like, I can't call anybody right now. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna have to wait until like, I go home with a broken car to tell my parents I broke the car. Like, we've all been there. Because that's the age that we. Whoa, that guy's getting all glowy. Is that the Hulk? Are you doing stuff that guy? I think I'm murdering him. This, this is before chiropractor. Yes. <laughs> we need to do some bloodletting to let the demons out. I'm just going to keep cutting you until you feel better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let me know when to stop. Yeah, that school was right in the middle of um, a very crowded village on very busy streets. So and and like the recess area where kids like went outside to play. There was no playground. <laughs> you just like went just outside the into lot. the parking literally <laughs> into the parking lot. And like, you're like, you were like lucky to no, get like a dodgeball. We were fenced in. We were fenced in, yeah. I would have fucking killed that kid. <laughs> but like, you'd go outside and you play kickball, and because it was like right next to a busy street, across from like small shopping stores and everything, mm. like, there was always like one or two kids who would kick the ball mm. and it would just go out into the street and then in like the neighboring parking lot. And we would just like, all the kids would like get up against the fence with their hands on the fence like and look longingly at the parking lot across the street at the kickball that they can't leave the school to go get <laughs> like prisoners and in like wait for like wait for somebody to leave the supermarket and be like hey mister <laughs> get our kickball <laughs> we're in here at maximum security <clears throat> <laughs> do you guys i was thinking about this the other day and just thinking about the the drugstore that used to be across from that just place. thinking about drugs just thinking about drugs <laughs> Do you remember buying condoms when you were like seventeen or eighteen? Sure. Yeah. It was horrifying. Really? I had no problem. Yeah, I, listen, I was, I guess, really self-aware that I looked like a twelve-year-old boy. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. That, that would make much more sense for you. Like you, you didn't age until listen, like you turned I didn't, eighteen. I didn't get, a, I didn't grow facial hair. I still don't do it that well. But I didn't grow it until like I was twenty-five. Like. Like, yeah. I remember being like, one condoms, please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't have to ask for it. Oh, there were places, though, that kept that shit behind the counter. I'm yeah. like, fuck those places. I particularly, like, I actually remember going exactly to that drugstore to buy condoms because it was close to work <clears throat> where I was working at the time at the movie damn. theater. Fucking one time, like, I go there with, oh, like... God. I got I got a, a box of condoms, and, like, that's all I had to go there for, so that's all I got. <laughs> I, I never had condom shame. Was it worse to, to buy condoms from someone around your age no. or someone older? That's someone where, older. that's exactly where I was <laughs> oh going with this God. conversation. Okay. I went to ring it to the checkout Hello place. Dear, did you find everything? Oh my God! <laughs> no, no, it, it wasn't an old. It was it was somebody who was like my age or like two or three years younger than me ringing it up, and it was a girl. And like I'm not thinking anything of it because I'm just buying condoms to like go yeah. have sex with my girlfriend, and like she picks up the box and like starts reading it. She doesn't just like ring it up. She's like reading it. She's like. Oh, oh, these are pretty, like, comes with the lube. This is from her side. Oh, these are pretty good. So where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? Where are you going? I'm exactly. like, I'm like, <laughs> and, like, I really just want to be like, I'm going to go have sex with my girlfriend. <laughs> but, but, like, it was, it's two o'clock in the morning. I just got off of work and I was going yeah. to my girlfriend's house. Yeah. I was like, I don't really want to have this conversation. And also, you're, you're cute. You know, it's, why are you what asking? Is what are you? Alright, so this is... I can't is, tell what's happening. This is the room with the bronze bull. This is the option. room with the shit cloud. So, in here is where the enemy actually stalks you. I think there are two, and I think there are minotaurs. Are they? Yeah. Hey, there's a thing! Are we supposed to be realizing something now? Yes. Uh, I think the whole game I was forgot my other pants. Run for your lives! There's a giant shit cloud coming! 
Okay. I forget the story. Who's this guy and where is he now? He's like a shadow man. My name... Uh, the guy talking to us yeah. or us? The guy talking to us. This is Resident uh, Evil 8. Your name is Ethan. You're running around a castle trying to get away okay, from no, no, a no. very tall, big titty goth vampire la lady. Who I just realized isn't even the fucking, like, remote final boss of that oh, game. Oh no, they just advertised, they put her on all the advertising because they're like, this will draw a lot of attention. Well, yeah. I don't I don't even think so. I didn't really think she was that, like, I mean, I didn't think she was that, like, hot or provocative. No, but, but the she internet... was, like, nine foot tall. So? Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know about you, I'm not necessarily attracted to, like, Ooh, I got bugs on my face. nine foot tall people. Oh, my point is that it's going to grab attention. Of course. That's all. You got bugs on my face. Thing. You picked up lemons. Now, why are we just like a walking camera at this point? Like, like those <laughs> bugs are just in for the, on for the ride. Um, yeah, like, just go back to the Should condoms thing. Like, I remember, like, you know, I didn't have much money when I was that old, but I remember being like, I want to buy just, like, one huge, large shipment of condoms so I don't ever have to fucking do this shit. Yeah. But, I, like, I remember doing that, too. I, I, I'm, and I was like, think, remember thinking, like, I'm pretty sure... Whoa. I'm pretty sure why this is, like, the leading cause of teenage pregnancy. <laughs> is that it's people don't want to fucking do this yeah. shit. I don't want to do this shit. God, I was, like, always thinking, like, I'm going to, like, run into my mom's friend or, yeah. like, some family friend or someone I know, like, my <laughs> English teacher. You go, like, six towns away, just to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I thought these were water balloons. <laughs> I remember is this I, chewing gum? I had gone into... I was dating a girl who was going to um, a school in the city at the time. And I had gone... We had... I bought tickets for me and her and a couple of our friends to go to some concert. And I took the train out the day beforehand <laughs> mm -hmm. to stay with her in the city. Okay. And the, like... the, day of the, the day of the concert rolls around. And, like, I go into my backpack and I'm like, Oh, fuck, I forgot the fucking tickets to go to the concert there i know exactly where they are they're in like the first drawer of my uh oh my um oh, no. mommy yeah I, so I, exactly. <laughs> I had to call my mom i'm like hey mom pete is gonna come by on his way into the city to pick up the tickets so when we meet up with him he's gonna have all of our tickets for us and and my mom knew pete at the time she's like all right no problem I'll, I'll go get them where are they i'm like they're in the top drawer and in my head i'm like no i'm not i'm not thinking I'm like who cares in yeah. my head like my mom and i have a really good relationship like we talk about everything it doesn't matter really down there um <laughs> <laughs> so i call my mom I'm like they're they're in the top drawer of my um my my chest of drawers where i keep my socks under my chest of drawers my dude stuff um and she goes downstairs while on the phone mm -hmm. to make sure that she can find them in case she you know needs directions oh. or whatever and like she's like all right they're oh i have to move all this stuff out of the way oh <gasps> Robert, there are condoms in here. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, she's like, why? I'm like, so I can have sex with my girlfriend? <laughs> and she was like, there was a really long pause. And she was like, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's, I mean, what's the alternative? As a parent, yeah. it's like, well, I don't want my kid to be doing that because this tests my mortality to some degree. And yeah. like, I don't know. I never thought of my kid that way, but okay. Condoms, good. Like, yeah, exactly. What is she gonna do? Yell at me for yeah. being safe? Yeah. All right. I have my sense of direction. This room is totally ass backwards now. But well, it's the shit room. Is it bass backwards? Are we still doing the orbs, or did we do that? Yeah, we're still doing the orbs. <laughs> <laughs> we so found we found the Iron Maiden. We found the Spiky Doo. We found the chainsaw upside down room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, did, did you, Excuse me. Was there an? Did you check for things in that room? I don't know. I haven't been paying attention because I was thinking about big titty condom girls. <laughs> just, a, just a big titty girl made out of condoms. Like a, like a balloon animal. <laughs> Man. I wonder if there's like a uh, party clown that specifically makes like pervy balloon. Oh, that's gotta be for like bachelorette parties and shit. God damn. you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer. Them I'm sorry, cool. what? This guy's got a really imaginative way of dealing with people he doesn't like. Smash the ligaments with a hammer? Wait, I want to, I'm like interested in torture devices. Is it... Are we, are we uh, gonna do this next time? I next suppose. Next time on The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> the Wheel of Misfortune. <laughs> <laughs>
Where's my phone? What if someone wants to talk to me?